Welcome back to Recap Recap. The film begins in a small village where we see an elderly couple living their mundane life. Due to some medical reasons, they did not have any children but they always wanted to adopt a child. Wure enjoys spending his time observing and studying birds. One day while he was watching birds through his binoculars, he heard a bird chirping from a nearby tree. When he goes to find it, he sees a strange creature with wings, but with the face of a human child. He then picks up the creature and thinks it's a baby, but upon closer examination, he discovered that it had a child's mouth and nose. He took it home first, not knowing where it had come from. He then reported his finding of a baby to his wife. After a brief period of stunned silence, his wife picked up a fruit bowl, covered it with a cloth, and placed the baby inside. Upon observing the small bird, the couple decided to name her Heine and decide to keep her with them for the time being. They wondered what kind of bird it was, a pachyderm, a magpie, or a new species of birdman. Considering that they had never had a child of their own, the couple regarded Heine as a gift from heaven and raised her as their own. They purchased a full baby set, which included a Barbie doll whose clothes they removed to make them fit Heine's body perfectly. They then assembled the cot and placed it inside her. Heine looked adorable in the dress, but as a normal child she can't have wings. The wife then sewed a small cloak for Heine to wear over her tiny wings so that no one would notice them. The next morning, the couple went to town by pushing the pram. The ladies of the town were interested in seeing the couple's adopted daughter. They were astonished by Heine's cuteness and attempted to hold her, but the wife pushed the carriage out of their way. Heine was small enough to fit on a fruit bowl, but she grew quickly after they moved in together. She wore two cute braids and a cute dress and followed her mother around. One day when they were on their yard, the wife learns that Heine has a gift for birds and has learned to fly low at a very young age. At night, Heine would sneak up to her parents and lie down in between them to share a nap. During the day, she would compete with the chicks to see who had the bigger wings. That day when she saw her dad approaching her, Heine spoke up and this brought great joy to his wife. The child said it for the first time ever. When Heine spoke again, the wife became extremely excited and said that Heine must be calling her mother. She believed that Heine was learning how to speak like a human, but her husband suggested that it was likely just their bird language and that she wasn't really calling us. However, the wife chose to take the teaching seriously and taught Heine a few words each day, repeating them, so that Heine continued to learn with caution. However, it appeared that she was unable to pronounce her mother's voice, regardless of how she had learned. The wife eventually started complaining to her husband about what she believed to be a speech impairment. So she decided to change the goal of her studies. At breakfast, Heine had a plate of worms in front of her. She shrank straight away immediately. Later, she noticed a tiny, protein-rich spiders on the ground, so she bent over and began using her mouth to peck at them. It's the kind of thing that parents are used to because nobody knew where Heine was from and she was a bird and not a human. The couple adopted Heine and took care of her as if she were their own child. They gradually came to understand that Heine was born with an indomitable nature. She can't talk and enjoys eating bugs. She is taught to use a knife and fork with her feet and can't learn to do it at all. Flying was the only possible ability she might have had. Looking out the window, she would always like to feel the world around her. But her mother was always worried about how she would continue with her life if she left with only her wings. But according to her father, there was no need to worry because she would be able to accomplish things with her wings that others would not be able to. One day, Heine's mother takes her out on the streets by herself. They were sitting in the restaurant, dressed in their cloaks just like any other mother and daughter. Right then, a hunter with his prey of geese passes by them, and the mother worries that Heine might get scared. She then rushed her to the bathroom so she could hide for a while. But when the wife went to get Heine back, she found only a pair of shoes left in the toilet. Heine had flown away from the window. She called to Heine again and again, but she would not listen, she was so desperate to be free. After flying for some distance, Heine ultimately lost her flight and landed on a mattress. It was the room of little Jenny. Jenny didn't find Heine's wings surprising because she was a girl with an endless imagination. Rather, she pondered over how she could be able to fly. She built a bird's nest, resembling a hatching bird, and placed the egg beneath herself, however, it broke instantly. Later, Jenny makes the decision to teach Heine how to fly by taking her into the woods. After putting on her ill-fitting shoes, she carried Heine to the tree. Soon after, Heine spreads her wings and soars to a high tree branch. Jenny, unable to climb up, decided to got to bed and return to the tree the following day to check on her. However, she couldn't find Heine when she awoke the following day. 
In the meantime, the elderly couple who had discovered Heine, had taken off, packed their bags, and headed south to find her. Little Jenny eventually finds them. Conversely, the girl with wings continued to speak in bird language. The birds were reacting to her in the trees. Heine, meanwhile, was becoming more and more joyful and even flirted with dancing. But the birds got tired of her speech and left first. Perplexed, Jenny took flight to pursue them. At that moment, the hunters were shooting in the forest. The trio startled and worried that the hunter would take her life. They therefore searched everywhere. Moments later, Jenny saw a blue cloak fly into the well. She pursued it, assuming it was her. Jenny then descended to the well's bottom by following the rope. She looked everywhere, but nothing caught her eye. It appeared that Heine was not present. She was, however, filthy and cold when she climbed out of the well. For now, they were forced to spend the night at the hotel. It was raining heavily outside and the couple feared that Heine might not have made it out of the heavy downpour in time. Soaked to the skin, Heine sat motionless on the ground. At night, she sneaks under the bed at the hotel where the couple was staying, and little Jenny finds her there. As a friend, she scolded Heine for sneaking away without saying goodbye. Jenny then noticed that Heine was cold and might get sick. She tucked her in and sang her a song to put her to bed. The following morning, Jenny informed the couple that she had found Heine. But when they got there to see the baby, they were delighted that Heine had flown out of the window again. They then packed their bags and left the hotel to search for Heine, figuring she hadn't gone far. They crossed the river and ascended the trees, but they came to nothing. So they tried to set her free. For now, going home was their final decision. However, on their way back, the wife saw Heine flying through the sky. They were so happy to see her. So they pursued her once more. Heine was going to join the geese on their new journey across the sea, so this was their last chance to see her. However, it was already too late and Heine had taken off from the coast when the couple reached her. When the wife and husband looked out over the endless sea, they believed that everything was over. But just then, Heine had another accident. She fell into the water and drifted back to the shore when the husband found her. Finally, the family was reunited when he brought her back. In the evening, the couple made the decision to try experiencing their daughter's way of life. They added a bug deluxe to their dinner. As usual, the wife was going to let Heine to use the fork, however, she gave her daughter the freedom to live her life as she pleased for the first time. She allowed Heine to eat without a knife and fork. Afterwards, they celebrated the discovery of their daughter by dancing. Everyone was content and happy. But at night, Heine repeatedly threw herself at the window. Despite everything, she still wanted to fly out and experience the outside world. The couple understood what Heine wanted and decided to give her freedom. The following morning, they took the baby to the hillside and told her to go ahead. With a smile, Heine bid her parents farewell. Then, as her parents watched from behind, she flailed her wings and continued to fly away. They understood that Heine would have to mature and face life alone in the future. Here is where the film teaches us how wonderful parental love truly is but a child may feel burdened by excessive protection from time to time. Every child is special in their own way. Even though Heine's wings seemed pointless and people treated her differently because she was different, she has something that all kids dream of but are unable to achieve. Thus, true love is about learning to let go and allow kids to live their own lives. So, that's the end of our movie. If you've come this far, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. See you later.